Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen. Today I'm going to be using wood cubes from the Dollar Tree to make all kinds of fun DIY decor. And I did some Christmas and I also threw just a tiny bit of fall in there. So let's get into it. First DIY, I'll be grabbing this Christmas green acrylic paint by Apple Barrel, and I'm gonna be painting five of these wood cubes. So if you wanna recreate this, make sure you grab a ton of these wood cubes. I think I used a total of 10 or more in this video, maybe I think a lot more, maybe 15. So I painted five of these, I'm gluing three of them together, and then I'm going to be gluing two together, and then just adding one to the top and we're gonna be making a fun little Christmas tree with these. So in the comments, I want you guys to tell me what I can put on top of this Christmas tree. So I have been doing this video for probably a month now and I could not find anything or come up with anything that looked right or looked correct on top of this Christmas tree. It is a cube tree, I totally understand that. Uh, but I could not find anything. Like all the wood stars were too big or too small. I tried adding like ornaments and just nothing looked right. So if you guys uh, know, let me know in the comments below. So gluing it together, it's already looking like a tree. Using some of these wood pieces from Dollar Tree, these wood stems, gluing two together, and that is going to be the stem. So I think that is a perfect thing for any type of Christmas tree you decide to make around the holidays. These little bulbs came from Hobby Lobby. And I did a Hobby Lobby haul and showed you guys a bunch of the items that I got. And I think I've pretty much used used everything in that video. Uh, it's taken me a while, but I have a ton of Christmas DIY still to create, but this is what it's going to look like when it is done. And then I just ended up adding some fairy lights, wrapped it around, and then uh, I ended up gluing the wood stems to just a wood base. And I think this is super cute, although it does need a top. So let me know in the comments below what you think. DIY, I'm making three presents and I think these are so cute. I love things that you can sit on a shelf. So the first one I'm painting black and then I'm going to go in with the other two and just paint them with a Waverly chalk paint in white. And this is the Waverly chalk paint and ink was the black color. So I decided to not make these super Christmassy. I kind of wanted them to be more farmhouse style since that is right up my alley and what I like. And yes, I did miss a piece of that, that was just the bottom. I cannot believe I missed that much on a wood cube, but it's totally okay. Nobody is gonna lift these up or anything like that. Uh, but I love this farmhouse ribbon. I have had this for a while, and this is from Dollar Tree as well. And I just never knew what to use it for. I don't even think I ever have, but I'm like, you know what? Let's make this a cute little present, adding a gingham bow to the top of this one. This black present, I'm using that really pretty lace ribbon that is also from the Dollar Tree. And these are, may not be your ordinary or original presents. I decided not to use buffalo check or anything like that for ribbon or snowflakes because I do have some of that ribbon, but I wanted to keep it fun. So another present is with the uh, farm ribbon once again and I just tied a bow and I thought this one actually kind of looked prettier when you just tie your own bows to the top of these and then I just added that gingham bow on top of the bow I made just to give it a little bit more so I want them all to be a little bit different uh, and I think these turned out is so cute. <laughs> DIY, you'll need three of these wooden cubes. And I did notice I had an extra leftover from a year or so ago. And the wooden cubes are not as heavy as they used to be. But paint three of these white, and then you're going to glue them on top of each other. We're going to be making a super cute snowman. Of course, you have to add some sort of snowman decor when you are doing Christmas decor. Uh, you have to, you just have to have a snowman, at least one. I'm not a big snowman fan, but I do like the few that I have made in the past. I'm using a scarf from Dollar Tree and just cutting a little piece to whatever size that I feel. And then I did cut it down eventually just to make it the size I really, really wanted. And then I'm just kind of wrapping it just like a scarf and using my hot glue gun. I'm using a Gorilla Glue Gun. It is the full size and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, I used to be like a 
diehard Shorebinder fan until I had this Gorilla Glue Gun and it just changes everything. So I just added a gingham bow to the center of the scarf. I'm not sure if I love what I did there, but it is okay with me. I'm using these fabric paint pens from Arteza and I'm just making a cute little snowman face. And then I decided to give him a belly button and I set that because it looks more like a belly button than a button. So I just had this piece of cardboard and I decided to cut it because the bottom looked like a hat and I did cut it down just a little bit more make it look more like a hat, but I just kind of wanted to DIY my own hat and then I did end up putting something towards the back of the hat to keep it up. I can not remember. It's not nearby. I think I just kind of um, made a cube out of cardboard. So it worked just fine and it is staying up just fine. Uh, these wood stems are also from Dollar Tree and I'm using these for arms. I could have went outside and just got some sticks, but you know what? I was trying to make it more of a Dollar Tree video and maybe some people cannot uh, just pick up sticks wherever they live. So these worked out super, super cute. ones I am using two and I'm using a sander or a sanding block to kind of sand down the edges of these and painting them white. We're going to make some little faux marshmallows. I have seen these around like Etsy and Pinterest and they're so stinking cute. So I had to make my own. I'm using the Arteza fabric glue. Once again, you could use colored hot glue guns if you chose. This is what I had on hand and this did take a couple days to dry. Uh, <laughs> My kids touched it a couple of times because they thought it looked so cool. It was not dry, but it turned out just fine. So it didn't really matter, but I thought it was pretty funny that it took so long to dry because they're like, you've had these sitting out for days. Like, I don't understand why it's still wet, but so yeah, the fabric glue or the fabric pens or the fabric paint, whatever it's called, uh, it does take some time to dry. So I decided to make two of these. And then when I was done, I decided just to make my own faces with a paint marker. I am not the best on like hand making faces by any means, but I think these little guys turned out pretty cute. I'm just using a black acrylic paint marker. And then I just dabbed a pink paint marker on my finger just to make some cute little pink cheeks. And then you have two little s'mores marshmallows. With me here, we're jumping back into fall. Like I said, I've been doing this video for probably, I wanna say two or three months. It's been quite some time. We're gonna make some apples. These are cute and these are fun. So, and it's not Thanksgiving yet. So it's totally okay if you want to make these still and like add them as like decor in your centerpiece if you choose. Uh, so I painted them red, crimson color. And then I did sand the edges down a little bit too to make them more like apples. And then I'm just adding some wood stems from Dollar Tree and some leaves. And then of course you have to add bows. These cute little bows with the buttons are from Hobby Lobby. And then I decided to add some like different type of leaves on there because it just wasn't, wasn't feeling the leaves I added first off. So, you know, you gotta just kind of test out the waters and see which ones you like the best. not going to end this video unless we make some little wooden pumpkins. I'm just using, I'm not even sure what color orange. It is just an orange by Apple Barrel, probably called pumpkin, something similar to that. I don't use orange too often. Wood stems from Dollar Tree, of course, gluing those on as stems. I did some pumpkins, I want to say last year with these two, but I did paint them really fun colors and add stickers and just made them a little bit different this year, just kind of more like a pumpkin some greenery this is from a yard sale and i love picking up stuff from yard sales it is the best 
gingham bows. I just decided to add one of each color. This came in a giant pack from Amazon and I'll link it if I can find it. I haven't been able to find this pack with the three colors uh, in quite some time now, but uh, I will definitely search for you or find something very similar. You guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my wood cube DIYs. A little bit of Christmas, a little bit of fall. You get the best of both worlds in this video. But if you liked it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.